so in dma dma transfer we have multiple modes three modes of transfer burst mode cycle stealing mode and interleaving mode so what is burst mode a block of data is transferred when control is with dma and cpu is idle for more time okay so earlier we have seen that uh, control is given from dma chip to input output cpu sits idle during dma so now when input output is sharing some data or transferring it has a large chunk of data that is more memory has means uh, more time is taken for data transfer so cpu will sit idle for more time so according to analogy we can say that there are multiple means a group of like almost 20 to 30 students that are directly updating their uh, attendance to the mem uh, attendance sheet and cpu will sit idle means the teacher will sit idle for more time now the second part is cycle stealing mode what happens is only one byte of data is transferred cpu is generally busy but if input output device has prepared a data a byte of data then dmc steals the control of the system bus for a small time and transfers the data and returns control until then the um, until the IO device is preparing data, the CPU has system bus. Means, according to analogy, we can say that suppose 8 students have prepared their data. Okay, prepared for preparing data, maybe updating attendance may not be the good example, but we can say something like deciding what is the project topic. Okay, so, so when 8 uh, students or group of uh, eight student have decided what is their topic project topic so then and they need to inform to the cr that okay fine you bring the paper in which teacher maintains the project details you bring that paper we shall update it so that one is cycle stealing mode dmsc steals the control steals the control of system bus means without permission of the teacher and then all the IO device transfer, or not all, whatever IO device it transfers its one byte of data. So, for this means in cycle stealing mode and burst mode, we shall see what is the time taken for data transfer or percentage of time CPU is sitting idle or blocked. Given that preparation time means time taken to prepare the data is Tx and time taken to transfer the data is ty now in burst mode ty means data uh, means data transfer time divided by the total time ty plus tx it was preparing the whole data then it will transfer a uh, huge data so ty is also very large into 100 percent but for cycle stealing mode it is only tx why because for cycle stealing mode, Tx is much greater compared to Ty. What was Tx? Time for preparing the data. And Ty was only uh, transferring one byte of data. It cannot be much larger than preparing the data. Okay, now what is the third, third mode? Third mode is interleaving mode or transparent mode. What happens is, suppose the teacher is cracking some joke or is not exactly teaching in the class or maybe has given some assignment. Then, in that cases, the system bus, the uh, system bus is not being exactly used by CPU, means the teacher is not exactly teaching. So, DMA takes control. DMA shall take the attendance sheet and tell the students to update it. So, uh, more time is not wasted for CPU as CPU was not using the system bus. So, that is interleaving mode or transparent mode.